Hey guys, my name is Phipps from Smooth Pubicon Gaming and in this video I'd like to explain you the benefits of holding Arcworld NFT fandom cards and why should I hold them on the long run. My number one reason why I bought Arcworld NFT cards was for the land minting which happened one month ago. My number two is to participate in the Alpha Pass before the official launch of Arcworld. So the testing phase. The testing phase will start in mid-July already, which is in about two or three weeks from now. Uh, today is the 20th of uh, June. Per each Arcworld fandom card which you're holding, you will get one Alpha Pass as NFT airdropped to your account. You can either use them or even sell them. Number three reason is the airdrops of a certain amount of BSLT, uh, the blue salt, when the game will be released. My number four is because of the super pass, which is the, the right to access first and avoiding any server queue upon the grand opening of the game, which will be around mid-August. So if ever the server, which I guess is limited to around 5,000 plus people, whenever it's full and we know it in the past, we don't want to be in the queue, uh, we want to be the first inside, and with that kind of uh, super bus, we are avoiding the queue. The reason number five, of Benefit number five is that Arcworld gives us the right to participate in the minting of land NFTs issued whenever another server for each region region is opened. And in particular, we get airdropped a medium sized land NFT for each of three cards we are holding. So before it was announced standard land, but from the last armor record they're saying a medium land which is huge a medium land at the moment cost about uh, i guess 900 clay um i guess i guess the floor price is about 750 and average is about 900 clay the minting price is also 900 clay if i'm not mistaken then number six purity uh to partnerships and collapse Additionally to that, and that's totally new, new update, is that maybe instead of throwing BSLT to us, fandom card holders will get another kind of stacking reward. This reward are custom boxes, which will be dropped to us over a period of time. And these cosmetic items can be sold in the in-game exchange to other players, which means that the fandom card holders have uh, another income all over the time by this uh, custom boxes, which is a good idea in my point. And I guess that this increased the interest in fandom cards a lot. Additionally to that, they announced in the last armor that they will minimize the sales of cosmetics instead and letting the fandom card holders generate the cosmetics and sell those. Let's wrap the video up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below what is your most favorite benefit of holding Arcworld NFTs. And if you have any questions about Arcworld, let me know so I can make a video particular about that. And until then, see you in the next video. Thank you so much.